Hello YouTube, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Got to Change. Today we're going to talk about once you go black, you never go back. This may be a new or old trend, not sure, um, but let's check it out. Once you go black, you never go back. This was just a saying to me until I experienced it myself firsthand. Once you go, once you go black, once you go black, you never go. Once you go black, you once you go black, once you go black, you never go back. This was just a saying to me until I experienced it myself firsthand. Once you go black, you never go. Once you go black, you never go back. This. I don't know why everything has to be sexual, man. It just is. Um, and we know that's what they're talking about. Once you go black, you know, you never go back. And so it's always weird to me that every single thing about race and everything, a lot of this stuff gets taken sexually, especially among the young people. Right. And they think it's so cool and they think it's so great. And people get in the comments, laugh and giggle. I dated a black guy one time and no, I'll never go back to the white. And it's just like. Man, it's just it's just it's just always sad to see that we continue to walk down this path where sex rules all, right? I mean, every TikTok, a lot of TikToks I come across, even a lot of Facebook videos. My friend uh, at the AO AO podcast, y'all remember we were talking about how gory Twitter can be, and Twitter they cesspool or X, whatever they call it now, but Facebook. I was looking into that more. Dude, Facebook is extremely sexual. Like, really sexual. Just keep watching the videos, and you'll see that. Sorry, guys. But keep watching the videos on um, Facebook, and you'll see all of this. You'll continue to see more sexual stuff. You'll continue to see more gory stuff. And it's just insane to me how much that people want us to keep us in this sexual box constantly. I hate, I hate that, I hate that a lot of our conversations devolve around sex these days. You know, the whole Adam 22 thing, the lane of the plug thing. Even I like the Hodge twins, but it's almost, almost sometimes impossible to watch them because a lot of their jokes center around sex. They centered around um, all this stuff and I get their comedians and I'm not knocking them. It's just like, it's just, I feel like even when I watch other YouTubers, not just them, I watch another guy, you know, he does lawyer stuff. He does law stuff. I want to watch the court cases, but it's almost impossible because every time we see a woman pop up, it's immediately like, man, I'd hit that man. Oh, she got that mouth for sucking somebody off. It's just like, man, it's just like, it's annoying to me at this point. And there, that's the reason I brought up this TikTok is because the only reason this is even, I'm even talking about this is because it was blowing up on X again, you know, or Twitter. Uh, I'm just going to keep calling it X guys. Y'all know what I mean? He's blowing up on X, man. And people are just like, oh, yeah, this, that, that. Don't y'all understand? Do y'all not understand that they, they they keep us buried and keep us idiots pretty much because all we ever talk about is sex drugs? Do y'all ever understand that? that doesn't it seem to y'all that? I think it's, and I could be wrong about this, but I believe I read an article that said that the IQ is going down. And I know this for a fact, that math scores and stuff like that, STEM, yeah, I mean, it's falling off the charts. I mean, it's getting lower and lower for these kids to learn. They have the world at their hands, but they keep falling into just sex, sex, more sex, and more sex. And I'm just to this point where it's like, man, I never thought I'd get to this point because I remember back in the day, sex did sell, but I mean, sex sells today. It's like all the kids want to talk about. I work with kids, and when they make the little silly little, it's high school students, but even when the high school students make the silly little jokes, it's normally about sex or something like that. It's just like, man, it's just, we have to keep fighting, guys. We have to keep fighting because I understand it's supposed to be a joke, but it's getting to the point where it's no longer a joke. You see what's happening with sex. It's gotten worse and worse and worse, and there's more and more and more pedophilia. There's more and more kids being taken off the streets. There's more and more child abuse. There's more and more in this, more and more in that, because sex is selling so much. People are literally, listen, Pornhub is one of the biggest sites in the world. Obviously falling a little bit under YouTube and Google because those are search engines thing there, but it's just crazy how many views they get. And they just deleted 10.6 million videos the other day because of how much child abuse and how much abuse was in their videos and how much underage uh, kids were in there. They deleted 10.6 million videos. I'm just saying that's how bad it is. 
think about this. Imagine if YouTube today said, well, we got to delete 10.6 million uh, videos because of uh, how much abuse was going on and how much sex there was in our videos. That's a big problem. And they're doing all that because they're in the middle of a lawsuit. But I don't know, man. I'm just... I'm just sad that we have to talk about going black or going back, and that's that's the topic of discussion today. Obviously, the biggest stuff that we talk about, but amongst the young people, sex is everything. Let me know what y'all think. Goodbye.